years after suspicious death, Antonin Scalia sends Trump a message from beyond the grave. When Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia passed away in February 2016 at the Cibolo Creek Ranch in Texas, the circumstances surrounding his death were overwhelmingly suspicious. For one, he was a noted conservative, and Barack Obama was nearing the end of his presidential term and, thus, the span of time when he would have legally been able to appoint a more liberal justice to the bench. Now, two years later, with questions regarding his demise still looming, Justice Scalia has sent President Donald Trump a message from beyond the grave. It's no wonder the circumstances surrounding Justice Scalia's death led to many internet conspiracy theories. He was found dead in Shafter, Texas, at the Cibolo Creek Ranch, which is owned by a Democratic Party donor and Obama Award winner. Additionally, Presidio County Judge Cinder Guevara, another Democrat, pronounced him dead over the phone, without ever seeing his body, which was found with a pillow covering his face, according to the Gateway Pundit. As speculations continue to circulate regarding what, if any, foul play might have taken place to contribute to Scalia's death, a new book is being released by the late justice's friend Brian Garner. Prior to Scalia's death, he had revealed his thoughts on then-presidential hopeful Donald Trump to Garner. In his new book, the author explains what his close friend thought of Trump. Justice Scalia thought it was most refreshing to have a candidate who is pretty much unfiltered and utterly frank, said Garner, a legal dictionary editor who spent two weeks in 2016 traveling with Justice Scalia through several Asian countries. In an interview with the Wall Street Journal prior to the release of his book Nino and Me, Garner added that Scalia was fascinated by the fact that Trump was so outspoken in an unfiltered way and therefore we were seeing something a little more genuine than a candidate whose every utterance is airbrushed. Garner's comments could not have been better timed, as the narrative which dominated last week's news cycle involved President Trump calling Haiti and other African nations shitholes. Although Trump himself, as well as several others who were in the room when he allegedly made the comment, have denied that the president used the derogatory term, the media and the Democrats had a field day with the story. However, none of the leftists with their panties in a wad over the fact that Trump allegedly called Haiti a shithole could argue that it isn't one. After all, Haiti is ranked 181 on GDP per capita out of 198 tracked countries. For human development, it's 137 out of 151 tracked countries. For murder, Haiti is 173 out of 219 tracked countries. In effect, Liberals were mad that Trump had the guts to call a certifiable shithole and shithole. If Justice Antonin Scalia were still alive, he likely would not be among those who slammed President Trump for calling a spade a spade. Trump's politically incorrect, unfiltered speech is one of his most fascinating qualities, according to the late Supreme Court Justice. This is also one of the character traits which greatly helped Donald Trump win the 2016 presidential election. The American people were tired of being fed the same old lines from career politicians with no intention of making good on their worn-out promises. Along came a successful businessman with no inclination to pander or sugarcoat the truth, and voters found him to be a breath of fresh air. President Donald Trump is savvy to continue speaking the unfiltered truth, even when those on the left are offended by it. It helped him win the first time around and it will help him secure the White House again in 2020. The late Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia knew as much, even though he did not live to see the Trump presidency in action. Action.